Good morning, Lauren Lefkowitz Grieber, Realty Executives Valencia. Hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving holiday and are back to work this Monday, November 30th, last day of November. I uh, wanted to talk about supplemental property taxes. I uh, had a couple of buyers ask me about it, even though during escrow they were informed of it and to be aware of it, they uh, kind of forgot about it. So I just wanted to put this YouTube blast out regarding that. Uh, for many, many years, we did not have much of an increase in value when people were buying homes. Well, we are seeing obviously an increase in equity, so we're seeing more inventory, so we're seeing more homes being sold. With that, there comes supplemental property taxes, meaning that somebody sells a house that the property was assessed for $500,000, uh, the buyer buys it for $600,000 and the county assessor sometimes doesn't get to that new value for 6 months, 18 months. I've seen it take as long as 2 years. Um, escrow closes based upon the current property tax value, meaning what the seller currently has it assessed at. Uh, the lender will definitely be collecting taxes based upon what the new value is if you have impound accounts, but there still will be a space in between that the county assessor has to pick up those supplemental property taxes. Uh, I've seen them as little as 500 bucks. I've seen them as much as a few thousand. But the message to you today is even though it is disclosed to you during your purchase, even though your real estate agent is reminding you about it, if you do get a notice of supplemental property taxes, make sure you don't ignore it. This is what I tell my buyers. Check with your lender if you're doing impounds. See if they've collected enough money to pay that supplemental. If they have not, you need to pay it. Don't ignore it. Sometimes it will say notice of supplemental property taxes with a slight different color bar. I think it's a green bar that goes across the top if it's just a notice. But if it is a supplemental property tax bill, check with your lender. If they don't have enough money in your impound account, please pay it. Uh, that's really about it. If you have any further questions, want to know more about the supplemental property taxes and the ramifications of not paying them, definitely feel free to give me a shout. Lauren at keepyourwits.com, 661-964-1610. I'm at extension 3317. Otherwise, hope you have a great day today. Remember to always keep your wits about you when buying or selling your home. Lauren Lefkowitz-Grieber, Realty Executives Valencia. Bye now.